This video takes a look at working out the arc length and the sector area, and it's specifically when you're in degrees and not radians. Um, so if you've come here looking for one about uh, how to do this with circular me measure or radians, um, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner up here um, for you to go to videos that will help you with that. But this one isn't it. This one's specifically uh, when we're still working in degrees. OK, so first of all, thinking about the arc length. So if we think about a circle and its circumference, you already know that the uh, way to work out a circumference is by doing 2 times pi times the radius. But what about if you just had a smaller section of that circle, not the whole thing? Um, how would you work out the arc length? Now, that smaller section is called a sector of the circle. And the arc length is that portion of the circumference around the outside of that sector. So if we have um, this angle in the middle marked as theta, that's a set proportion of the circle. So this is the formula for working out that arc length. We'll take the circumference and we'll multiply it by the proportion. So to get the proportion, we're going to do theta divided by 360. Since a whole circle would be 360 degrees in the center, we're just going to take um, a fraction of that. And that fraction will be theta over 360. And we'll multiply that by the circumference to get what that arc length is. So here's an example. We've got 105 degrees and we've got a radius of seven centimeters. So to work out the arc length, we'll put it into our formula. So we've got the 105 in for theta and we've got the seven in for the radius. And that comes to 12.8 centimeters. Note, this is still just a measure of length. So it's not centimeters squared or cubed or anything. It's just centimeters. It's that distance around the outside there. All right, so we've got three questions here to have a go at. Now, if you work through those arc length um, calculations, you'll get the following answers. Have a go at doing these and make sure that you get these answers. So question one is 12.7 centimeters. The arc length on question two was 3.14. And on question three, 31.4 centimeters. If you didn't get those, just go back to the previous slides and check that you're using the formula correctly. All right, next we have sector area. So again, we know the area of a circle would be pi times the radius squared. But if we want to just take a portion of it, then we need to work out the area of that sector. So again, we've got this theta marked in the center. And we're going to take the fraction of the area this time. So the fraction that we're working out it of is uh, theta over 360 degrees. So for example, we've got 105 degrees again and our seven centimeter radius. So put that into our sector area formula and we put the 105 out of 360. That's the fraction of the whole circle that we want and we'll multiply it by pi times seven squared. That comes to 44.9 centimeters squared. So have a go at these three questions. Take your time to work out those calculations. Use the formula that was on the previous slide and you should get the following answers. A is 47.5 centimeters squared. B, 463.6 millimeters squared. And C, 589 centimeters squared. Again, if you got any of those incorrect, just go back and look at the previous slide and check you're using the formula correctly.